What is going on guys, Brayden Flynn here with Sam Elkins and we are doing a little camera swap. What are, are you shooting with? Yes, yeah, so I just picked up your Contact 645 and I gave you my Mamiya 7.2 and also the Pentax 6.7. Excellent, so I'm probably gonna be mostly shooting the Mamiya 7.2 which is a 6.7 camera, this one is 645. Carl Zeiss lens, we've got the Mamiya lens over here. This one goes to F4, that's a 2.0. Unbelievable, this is my normal go-to and I love it. And so that one is, this is basically a rangefinder. This one's not. What do you call it when it's not a rangefinder? SLR. Just, yeah. just an SLR? Yeah, yeah. yeah, SLR. And so yeah, we're gonna go experiment. We're in Long Beach shooting around yep. and see what the differences are. Let's do it. Man, all right, so there we go. 70. That shutter's so light. I, mean, I would put it, you could be like a thousand F4. Turn this way just a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's <laughs> one. Boy, they're hot. Got my coffee. Yeah, so tell me about what you, like your main work that you're doing. Yes, I mean, so I moved out to LA about a year and a half ago, but before that I've done, I guess, I, don't know, I, I think I do mainly like a hybrid of, obviously I have like, I leverage my social media a lot, like both YouTube and Instagram, uh, but at the same time I kind of, I think I've made a name for myself in like the quality, you know, like both photo and video, I try to make it as high quality as possible and then I can leverage that with the large audiences to create like kind of these campaigns that I think I like are best fit for me, you know, it's so I yeah. do a lot of car stuff, do a lot of clothing, lots of portraits, that kind of stuff, lifestyle stuff. Yeah. Um, then on my YouTube channel, I do a lot of tutorials and just kind of like vlogs and all that fun stuff. Yeah. So you're doing a mix of video and still, are you getting hired for video? Yeah, getting hired for both. Okay. And then I, I have several people that I use for video, but then uh, I actually just, I'm starting to direct a bit more too, which is pretty yeah. fun. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like just like an all-encompassing mix of photo and video, to be honest. Yeah. And are you like reaching out for these jobs? Are you getting them from like people have seen your social? Yeah, yeah, that, that and the, like, I mean, I do also do stuff that is just completely photo related to like I'm, I'm doing a shoot like for Garmin in a couple weeks, like just for their, just just photos, you know, no, no posting or anything, which is nice. So I do a mix of kind of everything, but yeah, man, I think it's, it's interesting. It's kind of an interesting world because it's just such, such like, there's so many different routes you could go and everything, you know? And mm -hmm. I think it's, for me, I'm just trying to like hybrid everything, you know? Yeah. But this is cool. So what we're doing right now is uh, shooting, or we're doing a comparison of like the bokeh. So this is an 80 mil f2 lens. He's shooting on a 65 f4, but the thing about the f4 on the Mamiya is that the minimum focusing distance is about three feet, and on a 65 mil lens, you can't get very close to your subject at all. You can still get a lot, you know. There's definitely a lot of, uh, of bokeh, but you can't be as close as this. So like this, you can get right up next to it, and you get that amazing bokeh that you know this camera is kind of known for, and especially this lens. Uh, but with the Mamiya, you have to get a lot farther back. And then another thing too is like if you were shooting medium format, this is 645 versus 35 millimeter versus 67. F4 on a 6.7 is going to be more similar to like F2 on a 35 millimeter. So it's it's because it's such a big plane of focus, it actually is going to get more of that same bokeh, but still F2 on a 6.45 is unbelievable. And that lens is just beyond sharp. So. Yeah, and then also that the F2.4 on the 105 on the Pentax, which is a 6.7, that's also like the bokeh is pretty incredible as well. Yeah. Um, I'd say this is just comparing the two because I've been shooting a lot of the Pentax recently. Like this is just so easy to focus versus the. Yeah. It's like ridiculous how quick you can do it. I think that's probably the the main uh, you know, enticing thing about this camera is how quick you can just take a photo. The Pentax, you gotta like, I right, set it up. All right, now you gotta. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And you gotta hold the wood grip. And like, totally. <laughs> And then you also don't have to wind this, it's automatic. So it's just like you literally just fire, fire, fire if you need to. Right, no, it's perfect. Love it. On digital, even when you shoot like a lens so often, then you switch to another one, it just feels so different. Light peeking out. guys are that much taller than me. I got this guy over here.
that was a lot of fun. That was fun. I mean, being able to shoot with these two different cameras, I, I love how they feel, how they look, and hopefully a lot of this is so you can then look at the results because we're shooting a lot of the similar stuff where you can then go and decide like what's it for you. And really sometimes being able to shoot just with a different camera on a different day might just give you that extra spark. Of, Absolutely you know, excitement and fun where you maybe it just feels redundant. But um, yeah, each one I'd say look at those and hopefully these comparisons are helpful. Definitely go check out Sam, it's Samuel Elkins on Instagram or is that the same deal for your YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah, same deal for my YouTube as well, yep. A lot of instructional videos, really good stuff, really good work. Thank Thanks you, for coming out yeah, and shooting dude, with me. It's been super fun, yeah, thank you so much for having me. I think this is such a fun morning shooting with this camera. I've really been enjoying it. Yeah, well, and what was your take on the 645 versus the Ooh, MS7? I think, for one, it was easier to focus. I think the 80mm f2 lens is the focus, just incredible. Um, I have always heard about how amazing this lens was, but then being able to shoot with it, I think, is really just, you know, I'm so excited to just keep shooting with this camera and burn through some rolls. Um, but yeah, versus this, I think this is, I feel like this is much more of like a documentary style camera versus this is more of like an in-your-face kind of portrait style camera yeah. if you want it to be, but then also you can take a step back. I think this is, like they're, they're, they're different in that way and I think both of these are very like top tier medium format film cameras. So like if you're looking to get one, I think they both have their pros and cons. Yeah. And they're both incredible cameras. I don't really think you can go wrong with either one to be honest. Yeah, yeah like this would probably be a better street photography camera, so the rangefinder, where this is definitely, I use it for portraits. And then, you know, the differences would say this only goes up to 500th in shutter speed, this goes up to 4,000. Yeah. And then, you know, so, and then the different lenses are different, but um, I was shooting with more of a wide angle lens where this is more of a telephoto. Yep. And yeah, so really good comparisons, but you can go out there and decide for yourself. Exactly. Catch you on the next one. Boom. Wrap. Easy, easy. Thanks, dudes. Yeah, dude.